Oh, seriously? Hey, hey guys, and welcome to this video with myself, 6 Plus Stevo. So, yeah, you've probably seen the thumbnail and the title and thinking, what on earth is he on about? Orky Pick and Mix. Um, I have mentioned it before in a video. Um, for those of you that saw the interview I did with uh, Ian Waz Wyatt, uh, I'll pop a link in the corner for that. Um, have I got the right corner this time? I never get the right corner, but there you go. I did. I've got the right corner. Um, yeah, which I sort of brought the idea up. And uh, yeah, I haven't stopped thinking about it ever since. And basically, this is a this is me reaching out to you third party companies. Uh, I don't know if any of you watch my videos. Um, I know you probably watch them if you've provided me with some stuff for review or whatever. Um, you probably watch. Go, you better say something nice about our products. Um, but yeah. Um, so Orky Pick and Mix. What on earth am I on about? Well, let's take it back a little bit. So GW. They produce um, loads of stuff in the York range, loads of stuff. Um, but one area where they're severely lacking is in the Orc Warboss territory. Um, and Orc HQ, really. Uh, we've, we've had Gazzy. We've got Gazzy out now, at least um, some of you have. I still haven't got mine, um, which is cool, which is cool. But for a generic Warboss, um, we're still, we don't have a lot. We've got uh, Gruck Face Ripper, who is now Mr. Generic Warboss, uh, which is, a, 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 honestly, don't get me wrong, he's a lovely miniature, and he, he's one of my favourite miniatures in the range, actually. Um, and he, he's very monopose, very mono-build, um, because he started life as a special character. Uh, he's going to be. Um, but he's he's cool. He's a cool miniature. I've got no complaints. He looks really, really cool. And he's fairly easy to sort of convert and change up a little bit. You can change his weapons a bit if, you, if you're fairly you know experienced and stuff. It's, it's not too much of a challenge to modify him and tweak him to personalise him and make him your own. We've also got, very unusually on the GW website, um, one of the old metal Orc War bosses still available, which I really like, actually, I have to say. He's the one with the big chopper, and uh, he's very cool. And thank God they didn't change him to Failcast. But yes, yeah, very strange that we've still got an old metal miniature um, still for sale, which is very rare, actually, with GW these days. Most of their metal range got... Um, <laughs> downgraded to fail cast and uh, or just scrapped completely so it, it's kind of on one hand it's cool that he's still available but he's obviously very dated uh, although he still holds up and he's still very good as a war boss he's really cool in fact my um war boss uh, for my army is is that miniature that i've sort of mixed with parts of the other metal ones there used to be two of them that were both slightly different you had the one with the attack squig as well and the helmet um, and it was a, he's sort of a combination of those bits with a few other parts thrown in. So he's a sort of a minor modification kit bash job. Um, but yeah, so we've, we've got those. And, and, and then that's it. A lot of people use the old Black Reach one, which um, was re-released in the Battle for Vedros sets. There's a lot of them going around on eBay and stuff. And I think you can still pick up, if you keep a keen eye out on like Amazon stuff, I think you can still find them new, actually, in some of those sets. They are getting increasingly hard to find, if at all, actually. I haven't looked for a while. Um, but yeah, that, that that's it. And so for people wanting to have something a bit more personal, and with a bit a bit more posing and a bit more choice of parts and stuff there's from gw there's very little choice in terms of war bosses which is why a lot of people a lot of people go down the route of you know either scratch building or kit bashing or converting their own and for a lot of people to do that they go down um either looking at other factions and various bits and you know modifying and stuff or they go through third parties and there's so many good third parties out there. I mean, I can't list them all now, but you've just off the top of my head, you've got Cromlech, uh, Puppets War, uh, you've got some of the smaller brands like uh, For Fun Minis, 
um, uh, De Green one. Uh, who else is there? Who else is there? there? There's tons of them out. Ramshackle Games. There's loads. There's loads of third party companies out there providing alternative sculpts and miniatures to GW. And some of them, there's um, RTLW. RTLW is another big one. And that they're a really popular one, actually, for alternative Orc Warboss sculpts and miniatures. And so, yeah, there's a lot of third party companies out there who are creating alternative war bosses. And that's really cool. That's really cool. And some of them look mwah, really impressive. RTLW, I'm looking at you. Some of your ones are very popular and for good reason. But what about those of us who want to create our own? Now, as I said just a minute ago, we've got the option of scratch building and kit bashing and converting, yes. But <clears throat> having said that, there are very few, very, very few companies out there who are producing parts for war bosses. I'm not talking a war boss sculpt. I'm talking parts, bits. And that is what I would love to see. And I know, I know a huge portion of the community out there would also love to see it. So we've got a lot of companies like Puppets War and For Fun Minis who produce bits and parts for boys and knobs. So um, the knob parts are great because you can use those for like your big mechs and stuff. Uh, but they're not really big enough for war bosses. Uh, some bits, possibly heads and bits, you can just about get away with using them on a war boss miniature, you know. Um, but yeah, we don't have bits for war bosses and that's a huge gap in the market there and i can't believe more companies aren't capitalizing on that if any i mean if you know of companies that are producing this kind of stuff please share it in the comments below um, because i'm not aware of it and uh if i'm not aware of it then i know a lot of other people won't be aware of it so please 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 share it in the comments below uh pop you know share a link in the comments if for a company that you know is producing parts for war bosses um, but yeah, so what I want to see, I'm calling out to you, third-party companies, and I, please, I, I might even send some emails out with a link to this video to these companies. But what I want to see from you is an Orky pick and mix Now, this doesn't have to be just for war bosses, but war bosses would be really cool. And what I envision is this. You go onto the, the company's website, and you, you, you're greeted by sort of a... Um, build your own war boss and you click on that link and then you've taken through step by step where you can choose your different parts from a whole range that they produce so you would um, it's kind of like I don't know if people in this country will remember like the build a bear workshops <laughs> when you used to go in and build your own cuddly soft toy and you choose your bear or your whatever animal you wanted and you choose its outfit and its voice box and all these different bits it's kind of that idea. And I know some other companies are doing this kind of thing for things like uh, Dungeons and Dragons and stuff. I've seen some cool companies that are doing this very idea, actually. Um, but yeah, so you click on the link, or you click on the, the bit on their website for Build Your Own War Boss, and you start off with choose a torso, choose a set of legs, and you have a range of however many. The more, the better. Say like 10 different torsos to choose from. And then a set of legs, and you can choose from different legs. Um, and then you can choose your, your your left arm, your right arm. You can choose what is in the hands, be it a power claw, a big chopper, or uh, a big shooter or something. Um, and and, and yeah, whatever. Um, then you can choose your, your boss pole. You can choose your backpack. You can choose your shoulder guards. You can choose some accessories like an attack squig. Um, and maybe there's some variations of those as well. You could choose your different scenic base even. You know, you go through various things like that. And I just, oh, I, 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 would, uh, I would buy a few. I would buy a few, um, definitely. I would be on there, and it'd just be fun. You could just go on there and just create them, save them in your basket. You know, you could just have fun building something like that on the website. And maybe you haven't got the money straight away. You just pop it in your basket. And then later on when you get the money, you make a purchase. Um, but yeah, that would be so cool. I mean, not only would it fill a niche uh, and a sort of a, a, a gap in the market that GW themselves aren't currently filling, as evidenced by the sheer amount of kit bashing, converting, and scratch building going on out there, 
and the amount of third party war bosses that are being sold and I think a lot of them are because I'm seeing a lot of them on um, community sites and things such as the 40k orc community site a link to that in the description below go and join it it's the best place on Facebook um, but yeah companies do this um, Cromlech Puppets War all of you listen do this I, I know there's a lot of work involved and it, it's going to take a while and it's a very easy to come up with these ideas and maybe it's a lot harder to actually put them into practice but I can tell you um, you'd instantly become my favourite third party company if you did this kind of thing and like I said it doesn't have to be restricted to war bosses you could do weird boys you could do big mechs um, big mechs in mega armor war, yeah, war bosses on bikes and stuff imagine that a war boss on bike going through and choosing different parts of the bike like, oh do I want tank tracks on the back do I want those? and I know some people would say oh well that would take a lot of the fun out of actually scratch building and doing it yourself from parts and you can still do that because this would arrive in the post in the parts um, and you wouldn't perhaps you wouldn't necessarily have to build all the bits you could just go on the site and go well I'll buy all the torsos and all the legs and I'll just have fun with them at home and build all kinds of things with them um, so you could sell even more that way but yeah orky pick and mix guys orky pick and mix we need it I mean I miss pick and mix in the shops we don't really get it in many of the shops anymore um, but a pick and mix of orcs damn that'd be badass wouldn't it that would be just awesome it would be so cool um just you could just think of the different types of heads you could have you could have a head with like a bionic eye and you could choose to have like a top knot or not you could have like a, a freebooter captain's hat um <clears throat> you have different jaw plates um that helmet or no helmet and uh, you could have scars and bits on there same with the torsos you could have one heavily scarred you could have one armored up you could have one like like a bullets and stick bombs and stuff hanging off him uh, <coughs> excuse me um it would just be so so cool so yeah that's um that's it really that's all i really wanted to say i just wanted to share this idea and um, hope that some of you companies out there see this video and respond to it and 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 do this idea and uh, I'm fairly confident that most of my subscribers and viewers will agree with me on this and want this um, and if you are one of those people please share in the comments below how much you would want this idea to come become a reality and uh, let the companies see these comments because um, I will send it out to them actually I'm going to send this video out to them uh, a link to the video at least in an email to a lot of these companies so that they can um, just see how much you guys want it and how much teeth you're prepared to spend on something like this and uh, yeah because we're underserved in terms of war boss bits there needs to be someone out there that makes it easier for us to create our own war bosses for use on the tabletop uh, we're all doing it anyway but if there's someone out there who could make it easier and cut out a lot of the sawing and the hacking and the filing um, and the sculpting then yeah that would be a blessing to a lot of us actually if we could uh, save a bit of time and come up with some original creations of our own like that it would be oh, so cool um, but anyway guys that's it for now um, like I said, share your comments down below, hit the like button, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button, and oi, you third party companies out there, listen to what I'm telling you man, listen to what I'm telling you, because this is a license to print money, but anyway guys, for now, this is 6 Stevo signing out.